So get to know your students. If you look at this classroom, it looks like a typical classroom there. Um, so the administrator and the teacher who does not know their student store would just look at it as such, a typical class. But if you knew that this student was suicidal or this student was homeless, or she lived in a violent neighborhood, you know, his parents were incarcerated, um, she was molested, he's been abused, uh, he has, she has a mental illness, he is a drug addict, and she's an alcoholic. If you were equipped with that knowledge about your students, you wouldn't treat them equally. You would treat them equitably, meeting them at their point of need. And you'd be much able to connect with them um, if for those reasons listed there is making them become hard to reach. Because you understand what we talked about earlier about the trauma, how students go through trauma and how they act out, fight, flight, or freeze. If we know this information, we're better equipped to deal with it. Um, if you consider, you know, keeping this picture in mind, but if you consider Maslow's hierarchy of needs, you know, our goal here is to have students to be up in the self-actualization part of the pyramid. Um, that's where we want them as educators. That's where we want them. And if you don't have a good relationship with them, <clears throat> you won't know that they are living in the safety and physiological needs. You know, they're, they're thinking about the safety. How am I going to get home today? Is mom and dad going to be able to pick me up? Am I going to have food at home? Uh, do I have to walk through a violent neighborhood to get home? And when I get there, you know, what's going to be the condition?